has spent more than half of his life, in fact, 32 years of his life, in prison cells right across this country. He is uh, currently on parole uh, and uh, has written a fascinating book titled The Life, Crimes, and Hard Times of Ricky Atkinson, the leader of the Dirty Tricks Gang, a, a true story, um, and it is uh, co-authored, in fact, with uh, uh, Canadian journalist Joe Fiorito. We're pleased to have uh, Mr. Atkinson join us uh, on a telephone. Good evening to you. How are you doing, John? I'm doing terrific. Appreciate you uh, you joining us tonight. Um, let's uh, start uh, right at the beginning. Your uh, mother was uh, originally uh, from the Ukraine. Uh, your your dad had the roots in uh, Nova Scotia's uh, Black Métis community. Um, you, however, grew up in uh, in Toronto. Tell us a little bit about your youth. I grew up in the Kensington Market area, and it was primarily a Jewish neighborhood when I was a kid. And uh, it was uh, conducive to allowing poor black native people from Nova Scotia, which my father and his large clan was. We had 65 first cousins, 14 aunts and uncles within that area, Spina, Dundas area. And uh, it seems like the Jewish population then took us in and gave us places to stay, so we, we gravitated towards that area in lieu of uh, other areas of the Toronto that weren't so welcome to the uh, mixed race. It's like 